Dr. Biden is focused on celebrating teachers as everyone heads back to school. But in light of the Queen's passing, we started our conversation talking about the First Lady's personal memories of Queen Elizabeth. Then you and the president had tea um, with her just mm -hmm. last year. What will you remember about the Queen? You know, well, first I want to say that our hearts are with the Queen's family. What I loved about her was that she was really independent. We went up to her living room and they said to us, like, don't talk about families. So we went up and so the first thing she starts with is, is family. So Prince Philip had just died recently and I think, you know, she knows Joe. I mean, I think she just wanted to talk about her husband. She poured tea and Joe and I said, oh, let you know, let us help you. No, you know, you sit there and I'll get the tea. And then she had such curiosity. Mm -hmm. You know, she wanted to know all about American politics, what was happening. So she put us at ease. Before traveling overseas to honor the life of Queen Elizabeth later this week, Are you good? Hi. Dr. Jill Biden was in a place she knows well on Monday, the classroom. The first lady, a teacher herself, visiting an elementary school in Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, I just want to say thank you to the three of you for, in, for becoming teachers. Dr. Biden showing support for her fellow teachers with Education Secretary Miguel Cardona. One, two, and three. While also working to welcome those who aspire to be educators. You're one of so many teachers returning to the classroom. Meanwhile, there are schools all across the country facing these shortages. Um, it's such a challenge. What concerns you the most when we talk about staffing for schools? And this has been happening uh, for a couple of years now. We've seen it coming. The teacher workforce was skewed a little bit older, you know, for mm -hmm. several years now. But what we need to do is encourage younger people to, to come into the profession and and also teachers of color. Parents and politicians are now weighing in on what books should be in our school libraries and what their kids are being taught. Where is the line, in your opinion, with how much of a say parents should have when it comes to what their kids are learning in school? Well, I think with the pandemic, parents saw how hard teachers work mm -hmm. and how difficult this job really is. And I think if they work together in their school districts and decide what they want with their curriculum. Is there a balance between, you know, this book should be in the library, this book All is under review. All books should be in the library. All books. This is America. We don't ban books. Dr. Biden has been first lady now for nearly two years, with the president saying he will run again in 2024. Have you talked about it with him? Uh, not yet. We've been a little bit too busy. <laughs> not yet, but uh, I'm sure it'll be a discussion. Do you feel ready, you and President Biden, to, to hit a second presidential campaign? It has to be taxing. Well, you know, it is taxing, but, you know, look at the look at all Joe has done. He has kept true to what he said he would do. And uh, so I think he just needs to keep going. We're going to hear much more from Dr. Biden coming up in our third hour, including the learning loss. So many kids around the country have experienced because of the pandemic. We talk about COVID, what she did yeah. to pass the time. Mm -hmm. Again, much more on education. We had a really full, a full conversation. It was mm -hmm. interesting to hear Dr. Biden say no books mm -hmm. should be banned. No yeah. books, All should, books be banned. should be banned. And, you know, and, and again, the backdrop was this school in Knoxville, Tennessee, yeah. when she walked in, you know, bright eyed faces, yeah. second, third year teachers. And I noticed you have all of these teachers who are so enthusiastic, second your teachers and then something happens yeah. you know a few years in where yeah. they want to quit so right. we'll yeah. talk about that as well Good. thank you that was nice great conversation that was great. important mm -hmm. conversation mm -hmm. Chanel. thank you hey thanks for watching our youtube channel find your favorite recipes celebrity interviews uplifting stories shop our favorite deals and so much more with the today app download it now